It takes a long time to realize how truly miserable you are, and even longer to see that it doesn't have to be that way. Only after you give up everything can you begin to find a way to be happy. As this was my third visit to Kamakura, I've decided to just explore this town without a fixed itinerary. I found this super hidden cafe called Kisaminka, which perfectly encapsulates the laid back atmosphere of Kamakura. Thanks to Google Translate, I was able to order a nice bowl of curry rice. And a caramel pudding for dessert after. but I was a little too early. However, I still enjoyed my visit there as the walk through the garden paths was very peaceful and quiet. Before I headed back to Tokyo, I revisited Mushin An Tea House and ordered my favourite Kina called Mochi, which is basically grilled rice cakes dusted with toasted soybean powder and sugar. I felt very lucky as I was the only customer there, so I got to sit by the veranda, look at the Japanese garden while enjoying my desserts. <laughs> <laughs> 